Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video where we're going to be going over a roadmap I've seen some people saying that they're having difficulty beating a roadmap I've got a very simple team which most people should be able to build very accessible characters now or in the past um, and we're going to be going over that in a second you can get your hands on a John in the actual um, gray market pretty much already as you can see I'm very very close I'm going to be able to get the last 80 from completing the roadmap I need to do one more stage just from doing that roadmap just from doing some of the missions I did arena attacks I haven't had to do too much so far and I'm going to be able to get my first copy of John obviously I, I want to get that second copy as quickly as possible as well so I can start leveling up tearing up maybe I'll have him ready for war this weekend he won't be LB3 but we'll see what we're gonna do also the weapon is now known and it's actually pretty good if you remember I believe it was the first war of champions weapon I think it's pretty much identical but it's the tough version I think it's actually a pretty good weapon it could potentially be good in you know quite a few different game modes different characters holding it in the hand that sort of thing so it's not necessarily good for John though because he does actually need to land attacks for this to actually work and it won't work with his adrenaline rush or his signature move, only his basic attack. So it's not so good for John, but other characters, obviously, as of course, it can potentially work for. So there is a roadmap right up right now. You can do the first section because it doesn't require anything but um, gold mythic characters. Or you can even do it as silvers if you wish. I've managed to complete all of it, as you can see, except the last stage. Now, the, the team that consistently comes up is reasonably difficult. When it has, um, I think it's like two different types of teams coming up. They're quite a lot of recent characters. Can be quite hard. I've been beating it with a three-man team. You can obviously use more characters if you wish. But I'm just showing you how basic it is. And the three-man team I've been using is this. Very accessible characters. Mike's been in a previous Mythic Market. Christmas Carol's in the current. And the Trader has been in the previous. Now, Christmas Carol's just in there for filler and camouflage. Just so there's not any AoE damage. She doesn't even really need to be in there. I could probably do it with just two, but obviously it's going to be a bit more targeted damage. If you want to fill out the other slots, I would do like more control-based characters. So if we just look at some of the controllers available to us, we could go with, um, let's see, we could go with maybe um, Clementine could be good when she hits a crit. She can obviously stun. You can use her instead of Trader as well. Um, who else? Diamond would be absolutely fine. We can throw in Diamond. I'll do that right now. She's accessible as well. Who else have we got in here? That's pretty straightforward. Um, OG Rosita even could be pretty good. Maybe even like Sophia. You know, these characters that have control on them that are pretty straightforward to come by. Um, I don't think there's any silvers, unfortunately. We'll see if there's any support characters in here that are decent. Um, it, will it start us on the far left-hand side? It won't. Actually, we'll put in Cal. There we go. I think Cal's another one. He's very accessible. We'll just put some basic weapons on these characters. I won't try and go too crazy on the weapons. We haven't got any healing on the weapons, I don't believe. Um, we'll just go for a, a, one of the ones that we got from the store recently. Um, Peter Anderson's... It's not a very good one for her, but this is just because people do complain that I use two good weapons sometimes. These are very basic characters. Use your best weapons, obviously. We did also get one of these weapons previously. I think it was... Um... This one we got from a, a, a league store um, gives alert attacks. Now, this isn't a team based on damage. It's just pretty much revolving around Mike. It will just slowly kill off a team. You, anyone who's a fan of my like my streams and stuff knows that I, I, Mike is the is the roadmap like general. And this is one of the teams. Now, the only problematic character you actually have in these things is Sebastian, honestly. When he's and and I think the other one is Kyle because they can do really significant damage. You just want to use Trader and just take them out of the fight. These guys have got no resist, so you can just take them out of the fight. You also want to take down the revives first. So I think the revives in this team are this character, this character, and maybe this character. Um, no, no, no revive on uh, Carson. So it's just Nor and um, and Davy in the middle. So you want to take those out first. We'll get the infection rolling, and then we'll just get the stun off just to get the stun off. We'll try and get a Guardian Shields. It doesn't really matter. And as long as we take out those two characters, I'll just hit auto on Davy. Basically, it should be pretty straightforward. The rest don't matter too much, I don't think. Um, we'll have random control constantly coming in. And remember, when you take a character down, infection will be applied to someone else because of Mike. 
and he'll obviously keep applying infection as well. Very easy team to build. You can see I'm very protected. Camouflage on my entire team. Guardian Shields now as well. I didn't actually use Cal before, but he's pretty solid. And then I've got a lot of control in, um, you know, this team as well in Diamond and Trader. So you don't have to go for a full damage team. Let's try and not finish this. I think he's just about to die from infection. He is. Okay, we'll see it on the next stage. I've already done this stage. So, um, okay, let me just uh, <laughs> do the last two attacks. Oh, actually, I can just see it now. Um, you can see they cheat. Look at that HP and, and defense. This is why using percentage damage is not the way. It's not the way. 100% using infection is great. And then when you get on to the next act, you actually have to use um, John himself. And obviously, he's going to bring infection to the table for you. So you can just replace the leader um, and trader. Maybe swap trader into the position. Maybe of, I don't know, Carol or Cal. You know, it's up to you where you want to go there. So I'll do the last roadmap stage here as well. It's pretty much the same team. Um, remember where, with this character, when she goes into Outlast, she can rush and everything. It can be problematic. However, because she's got no passives, she can't cleanse. So as long as you control her when you take her out, you're going to be absolutely fine. We're going to just do the same thing again. We're going to control this character. Infect this character. We'll stun. We've got a lot of stuns off. And then we'll just hit the auto button. Actually, we need to do it on Cal, don't we? Uh, not, not Cal. Uh, on um, Davy. And then what we can do here... Is we can just make sure we have this land on Eris because we just need to make sure Eris gets controlled when she does eventually get taken down. So I'm just going to unpause it every now and again and just make sure I hit a control on her because, yeah. Cal's great for it though because every turn he can do a two turn stun. So the second you see Infection land on Eris, there we go, it has landed on Eris. I need to just control her this turn for two turns so that on her turn when she's taken out, she is actually going to be controlled simple as that job done and that's this roadmap completed and we should be able to complete um the first collection for john it's, it's i think it's pretty much as simple as that guys the roadmap isn't too difficult um i think i only did one arena mission as well so if i just back out i get the last 80 i need and i think that's enough to get the first john and it is it is indeed first john in the bag don't level him up until you get two versions of this character, though, guys, because obviously you're not going to get as many level up points. But you can start tearing up his passives if you so wish. You can also just start using him straight away. You don't obviously have to um, to do much. Um, you're going to get another 350 from this roadmap from using him. He doesn't have to be... I don't think he has to be like a high tier. He just has to be gold. Um, one fighter like this in your team, it doesn't say a tier... It just has to be in the team so we can just we can just see if that's the case we'll, we'll swap out him um you know carol doesn't need to be in there she's the one that doesn't really need to be in there and then we'll go for leaders because they're both leaders actually um i can and also other characters that are good conrad could be good if you don't have trader just because he has guardian shields and stuff um you do need someone who can do initial first turn control that's all you just need to control somebody first turn and then you, it's someone like um you know, someone like Trader, if you've got the endless control, it's great. Sebastian's the only real problematic character, and Kyle, those two characters you've got to, you know, make sure you take care of. Okay, so we've got him here, and, oh, okay, it doesn't say he needs to be, I did claim him, right? I, I maybe I just, uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm too used to doing that, guys, I'm too used to doing that, okay, there we go. So we can put him as a leader. It doesn't really matter what weapon he has in his hands. Um, I'll try and use a, a basic weapon. Um, and then we'll just go. Same team's going to be used. Okay, that's very interesting. But there's going to be infection everywhere now. And this is obviously great. If you level up the passives, you'd have guardian shields. Maybe off of John's initial passives. I don't know what the initial passives are. But we'll do it exactly the same as before. Um, we will do the end of stuff. Lots of control. I only do one stage here, guys, because I think it's pretty straightforward from here. But lots of infection down now, and you're going to see them drop really quick. This is where you're going to see it's going to be much more different because there's so many more infections being placed because of um, John. That lots of will drop at the same time. This is what John brings to the table, and he's honestly just going to make these roadmap stages extremely easy. You'll be able to plow through this second act, and that'll be John number two landing on your roster. Level him up. Getting ready for war.
have fun guys hopefully this is a bit more straightforward for you remember just mic plus lots of control doesn't matter who the controllers are lots of control I want to thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving. <laughs>